Hey, hey you guys, Stockton here from Better Than Data. And in this video, we're going to take an overview that you've probably never seen before on a take of how to use UTM parameters with Facebook ads. So I'm gonna show you a few things of where these show up and how to uh, make it really easy and dynamic for your Facebook ads um, and where to see that data inside of GA4. Now, of course, before that we dive into that, what I wanna tell you is something super awesome that we see across all the people we're training and with our clients, and that is how to get conversion tracking set up super fast, super quickly. We see a lot of people struggle with this part and we wanted to make it as seamless and easy as possible. So if you head on over to the link right below me, then you'll be able to take this quick little quiz where you can choose your platform and then you'll be added directly to a training course where for each platform we've provided step-by-step -step instructions, we've provided the data layer that you need. So you don't have to worry about finding where that data layer is, if it's gonna work, and the prepared, pre-built GTM container that will work with that data layer, uh, which is just a stranded, standard data, uh, GA4 data layer to use for the supported platforms that we have. So right now we have WooCommerce, Thrivecon, and Shopify. If you feel like we're missing one, just let us know and we can work on adding that. But for those three platforms, we have the data layer, we have the container, you can get your conversion tracking set up super fast within minutes and it's super easy that way. Okay, so let's jump right into what we're looking at in terms of the UTM parameters on Facebook. So UTM parameters on Facebook are inserted at the ad level. So I'm in a, um, an ad account here. So we got the campaign level, we've got the ad set level, and then we're at the ad level. And at the ad level is where you add, oops, not duplicate, um, your different UTM parameters. So I'm gonna click edit, I'm gonna scroll down, and right here, we're going to see our URL parameters. If I hit build a URL parameter, we can begin to enter in all of these details. Now, Facebook is super nice because it actually has dynamic variables. So if I click here, you'll see that it has dynamic variables. So which variable do we need to put in which field? Now, there's a really nice article that Google has prepared for us, actually, right? Um, that tells us um, the supported URL parameters inside of GA4. So we want to use these parameters because it's what GA4's reporting interface is going to be able to show us. And we can see that by going, coming into GA4, go under explore, sorry, not under explore, reports, I don't know why we went under explore, and then go acquisition, traffic acquisition, and then right here, you can see the default channel group. But if you just do this little drop down, you can actually change this to be, for example, source medium or just medium, just source. But also there's source platform and then there's campaign, obviously, there as well. And that matches if we look at this here, we've got ID, source, medium, campaign. But also check this out, UTM source platform, UTM campaign ID and UTM ID here as well. So uh, these other ones aren't quite supported in GA4, but we could add them anyway. So for example, term and content we're going to, to use inside of our dynamic ads. So if we come back to Facebook and actually begin building this, what dynamic values should we put in? So under campaign source here, I'm actually gonna choose site source name. I'll bet you thought I was gonna do UT, uh, can't the campaign name or the yeah, just type in Facebook or something here. No, we're actually gonna do under campaign source, we're gonna do site source name. Medium, we're just gonna hard code this to be paid or you know, the typical ones are paid, CPC, PPC, kind of up to you in terms of what you're doing across all of your different ad platform strategy. Uh, but paid is a really good one or CPC is a really good one. Under campaign name, this one we are going to do dynamic as just campaign name. The campaign content, here we're gonna do a dynamic ad add name, not add that add. Okay, then what we can do is add a parameter. And I like Facebook's builder a lot because you can do these dynamic uh, like parameters for you and they generate the preview. So what are the missing parameters here? We've got source, medium, campaign, content. So we need term, so UTM term. And this would correspond to the ad set name. So we can go ad set name. The ones uh, that are missing here, we could do the UTM ID, which is required for, which would we would do campaign ID, which um, would be required if you wanna import cost data from like Facebook into GA4, you need to have UTM ID there. And the other one we want would be UTM source platform. 
And this one, I would just hard code as Facebook or Meta or something like that. And then other just parameters that we could add because um, Facebook supports it is the placement. So we could choose just placement there and have placement be a thing. You could do UTM placement, but at this point it's a custom parameter anyway, so it doesn't really matter what you call it. So we can add placement and placement. And then you can see it gives us this nice generated URL. So let's take a look at this and break it down. So if we had our main um, kind of URL here, we would have a question mark and then paste this in after it. And this is what kind of that final URL would look like. Remember in a URL, you only have one question mark and then all of the parameters, which is a key and value pair, are separated by the ampersand or and sign. So we've got one question mark and it's this entire thing. Then we have UTM source equals dynamic variable, ampersand uh, and sign and then the next key value pair. So then UTM medium equals paid, UTM campaign equals campaign name. So then when the person clicks on the ad, all of these values will be filled in dynamically if they are dynamic variable, they have these curly brackets. And then we'll be able to see all of that here inside of our GA4 interface to see what are all the different source, source mediums, placements, uh, ad sets, ads, and uh, site source name that people have come from. So that is a quick overview of how UTMs would work and what I would use for dynamic UTMs inside of Facebook.